What is up guys, this is Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we will be having a look at how you can create a stunning looking about us page and, and I'm going to show you all the steps on how to create it, design it and finish it up with a couple of fine touches and I'm going to show you what I've done right here. That's the final result we want to achieve. It all starts with a little image banner and explanation about your company. Then it continues with this little text block right here and it jumps on over to this feature section right here. So it kind of shows what your company is standing for. Then of course you want to have a little introduction about you and yourself and also your coworkers and who the people are in your company. And to add some design part to it, we're going to add this Mason image grad Emery to the whole thing. And the final part of the about us page is going to be a few testimonials so people can actually get a touch and feel what people you work with already say about your product. And the first thing we have to do for all that is head on over to the Shopify app store and download the section store app because that was the one I used for all the section implementations for this tutorial. And after successfully getting that, the app itself is completely free. So you don't have to worry about anything. And we're going to head on over to the Shopify admin area where the first thing we want to do is actually head to the online store page and here on pages we want to of course make sure that the about us page is added that is the one if you haven't done so already you can super easily do that you just click on add a page and then you type in about us and then it's pretty much set already and make sure if you're choosing the theme template right here I'm just going to show you in the theme editor, that's the one, um, that you're going to create a new template underneath pages. So you're also going to name this one about us and then you have to give this page a reload and then simply just select about us like that. And the next step, you can set the navigation to this one actually. So we got the main menu right here and then you simply type in about us and then you can also link it to the about us theme template page so you can do custom stuff to it without affecting any other pages so yeah you're gonna get that so if we click on home and then on about us it's gonna link us to this page right here so let's load it up again so you can see it's all working smoothly yeah that is what we want perfect so the link is working correctly and we also got ourselves our own little theme okay perfect before we actually start with this building section, we have to get a couple of sections. The ones I used for this tutorial, I'm going to show you real quick. A brief little overview. The first one is the normal image banner. Shopify does provide you with that one already. Then for this block right here, I used the section store text block. This one is the section store feature seven. The one underneath is the image with text and that is simply just a copy of that one. So I mirrored that section, super easy to do. I'm going to show you how you can install all of those. So this one is the section store masonry and this one is the testimonial in wall. And I say we just start completely from scratch to actually use the app. You have to head down to apps right here, click on section store and then you want to go on explore sections and that's where you can find all of those. I'm also going to put a little list of all the section I included in this tutorial so you can easily just navigate through those. So for example, if I would want to get the Mason image grid, I just click on that one right here. Then it's going to show me a little option that I can download the section right here. This section does come with a small charge of $9. That means if you bought it once, you're gonna own it forever. No hidden subscription fees or whatsoever. And yeah, in the next step before actually you can use the section yourself, head back to the main area of the app. And here you just have to add it to the theme you're actually using. In my case, it's the Dawn Light theme. Sweet, after we've done a successful installation of all our sections. We can happily open up the theme editor and navigate on over to the About Us page where we're just gonna simply start from scratch again. So I'm gonna get rid of all the sections I've built already. 
and walk you through how you can install them all. So yeah, let's click on pages, about us, and here we go. So let me just hide them all and I'll see you in a second. Alrighty guys, here we are back once again with a completely blank canvas. So I'd say we just jump right into it and add the first section. And in this case, it's the image banner. So I'm just gonna chuck that in right there. Put it all the way to the top. And what we don't need is gonna be the buttons. We just need that right here. It's gonna be our story. And here we wanna put in a little explanation about our company. Maybe we're gonna do subtitle. So it's gonna get a little bit bigger. I like the looks of that. And what we also don't want to see is that little block right here. But first thing I want to do is actually add the background image. It's going to be that one. So what we are building right here is uh, this blanket company. So it's just an example, but at the end of the day, you can just customize it to your own likings. I think that's looking good already. So what we don't want to see is the container. So let's make sure that gets hidden. Let's save it up and show container on mobile. We also don't want to see it on the desktop. That is looking nice. And to make the contrast of the font better, we want to up the overlay capacity, of course. So the white and black gets a better contrast on that one. All right, sweet. Next section I want to include now is the text block. So I'm just going to type it in right here. That is looking nice. I'm using the text block pro for that one, or just simply the normal one. We should be good with that one. Never mind, I'll just chuck the pro in. Yeah, that's the one I want. That is looking good. Let me drag it all the way to the top again. That's where I want it. Looking good. And what we don't need is the subtitle and the button. So I'm simply just going to delete that and fill that with content. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, sweet. Now we got some nice content explaining the whole purpose of our company. And what we want to do now is also customize the whole thing. So I think the text size is a little bit big. So I want to put that down a bit, the line height. I want to also up a bit so it seems a bit more spacious and the next thing I want to change is the color of it. So I want to give it like a nice kind of orange sort of look. So I want to get somewhere like there. Yeah, that is looking nice already. Maybe a bit more like washed out almost, but I think that is looking quite nice already. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So let's move on customizing our font actually. I want a serif font because I think it do looks a bit more classy in that case. And now I also want to customize that right here. So the text size is looking pretty right to me. I just wanted to have a bit more space, of course. So I think 180 is looking good and I don't want it to be a super harsh black. So to make it look a bit more soft, I'm going to go with that. That is a nice approach, I think. Yeah, that looks nice. Maybe I'll make it a bit less spacious actually. So text size, line height, yeah, that's looking fine to me. I'm gonna move on to customizing the whole block itself. So as you can see here, you can also implement an image if you would want to. So we could chuck one in right here, but I just want text in this case. So we could give the content some padding as well. I wanna give it some horizontal padding. So it gets a bit more in there. There's a little gap as well. We can have between the whole thing section background. I just want to leave a simple white blank background. And then also we can add some padding to the whole thing, which I want to do because it I think it looks nicer if it has some space to the whole thing. And then we can happily move on with the next section. It's slowly getting in the direction I want it to get. And the next section I want to add is the feature section. So I'm typing that in. It's the feature seven. So let's just drag it right in. First thing I want to do is 
change the background of the whole thing. So we could also add a heading right here, but I'm quite happy with how it looks like right now. That is looking good as well. I'm just gonna leave the icons, but those are customizable as well. There are a bunch of customization options, but I think at the end of the day, you can just explore through them, but pretty much everything in that section and all our section is customizable. So yeah, let's just check if the heading colors something we're happy with, but for now, I just wanna change the background to this orange right here and the items background is supposed to be none. So I'm just gonna delete this right here and we're gonna end up with something like that. And then in the next step, I'm gonna go through all the icons and change the background of those as well. So that is looking nice. Let's continue with the last one, change the background of that image block and then it's looking good already. So if you look at it, in, in that version, yeah, that is slowly taking form. I like it. And the next section we're gonna continue with is the image with text section. So let's just type that in, image with text. Perfect, that's the one I'm looking for. So here we also don't need the button. We're gonna click on the whole thing itself. So we want a small image, so it's going over there. And of course we have to select the image first it's going to be about the two founders of the company it's all fictional of course but yeah there you can see it's getting dragged in already i want the content alignment to be on the left side so it seems like it's definitely belonging to that one and another thing i want to do is also change the colors of the whole thing of course we have a little border right here and we want to also have it the same color as the rest and the content border also has the same color as that. So I think that is looking quite nice already. If you want to have a shadow or not, that's up to you. I'm just going to leave it for this one. So here we have also a bunch of customization options. Another thing I want to do is of course change the text. So we're just going to put in Elsa Founder. Maybe I'll put it in, put it in like that. Yeah, that is looking nice. Had a color. Also want the same orange tone. So it all lines up at the end and the uh, text right here. I want to have it a little bit smaller, but more spacious. Yeah, that's looking way better. And I'm also going to appeal the softer gray tone right here because I think it gives it a smoother appeal. Very good. I'm just going to copy this whole section right here. And then I'm going to see you again in a section uh, in a second. <laughs> Sorry, speaking to model about sections. Um, I'm just going to copy that and I'll see you in a second. So yeah, here we are back once again. I added this block as well. Another thing I did right here was actually putting the image to the right side. So it's going to get on this side. Maybe I'm just going to put small as well. So the alignment looks better. I'll do the same one on this too. So the image is going to be the same size. And what I did to the block right here is that I wanted the image on the second side and then also aligned the text on the right side. And of course I changed the, the headline for that. All right, let's move on with the next section, which is going to be a really nice one. It's the masonry image grid. I think it definitely is gonna up that about us page for you. So here we're gonna choose a lot of our own images to give it a nice touch and let people know actually what's going on and the whole company and what product you're actually presenting them. Cause I think pictures always tell a better story than a lot of text and people are lazy to read. So let's just give them what they want and give them a lot of pictures. I'm just gonna show you how you can add one picture. And then in the next step, I'm gonna add all the other ones offline. So you can just chug it in right here and then the picture is going to appear. You can even link it to something. If you wanna link it to your Instagram, that is up to you. And here we can do some changes to the whole block as well. We could add some headlines or something. And we could also decide how many items we want to see per row. So it's quite nice that we have this little default version right here already. I'm just going to leave it to, maybe let's put it to four. Oh, five is actually fine. And yeah, in a second, I uh, will fill it with all the other ones. And here you can see as well, you can decide how big the item gap is and a lot of other things actually you even have this little show more button around here and then you can change all the custom colors as well but i think 
I just see you in a second with all the pictures and yeah, it's gonna look a lot nicer, I promise. All right. All right, guys, here we are back once again with the successfully filled image grid. And I think it's looking pretty nice. You have the option to click on the show more button right here. And it's giving customers a nice overview about what you're actually presenting them with. And I think our about us page is looking quite nice already. There's just one last section I would like to include, and that's a testimonial section. I'm just gonna type it in right here. And after successfully putting that one in as well, let me just check. Yeah, that's that one. We can wrap it up. And the first thing I wanna do is of course, fill it with content. And then I'm gonna do some customizations to the whole blocks itself. And I'm just gonna show you how you can change that. So you can change the section background and also the border color, for example, that it's looking like that. But I'm just gonna be back in a second with all this filled with content. And then we can have a look at the live version of the website and wrap it up. So see you in a second. So yeah, here we are back once again. I added this little headline right here. What I would like to do on this one is make it a little bit thicker. So that is looking nice and also change the header color to our orange tone. And the last thing I wanna do is change the border color as well. So it's all lined up with the rest of our design. Save it all up and then we're gonna have a look at it at the live version. And let's see what we did right here. I think it's gonna look pretty nice actually. Here we're gonna click on about us and that's the final representation of what our about us page is actually gonna look. Here we have the little founder thing that is looking nice already with those cards. It's the text block, sorry the image with text section. Here we have our nice little image grid that is looking good as well and to round it all up we added those testimonials so i think at the end of the day it's a pretty nice aesthetically appealing about us page which also includes a lot of content and it's gonna inform your customers super well about what your brand is all about and yeah i hope you guys liked that video and if there are any questions always feel free to reach out to me in the comment section and if you have any suggestions always let me know i'm happy to help you with anything you want. And uh, if you like the video, always feel free to leave a like and a follow, of course, definitely helps us to keep up the motivation to build more sections and stuff like that. And with that being said, have a good one, guys, and peace out.